Now, to give you a quick explanation on what the image to image is, it's basically going to allow you to use an image as a basis for your generation or for a prompt that you will be producing. So first things first, I would suggest that you find yourself an image first. So for me, I guess let's go with pixels over here so we could find ourselves an image that we can use to base our prompts on. So let's simply search for a very simple image over here. Let's say a cat. Then click on search. And let's look for a very simple image over here. Maybe this orange cat over here. Let me download this. Now, Pexels is a platform where you could get royalty-free uh, photos and videos. Where you could use this as like a source of image for you to play around with in Leonardo as well. If you want to try out some image-to-image -image action, you could utilize this platform as well if you want to. Now, after securing your photo, which I have over here, Let's go and move over to the image generation, which is other user tools over here. But right now you will be able to see it on your home screen, which is this one image generation, which would allow us to generate art, illustrations, landscape, and more all in one variety of creative styles. So let's simply open this one. Now I already have a pre-made prompt over here. So let me remove that for now over here. Uh, to be able to find the image to image option, it used to locate or it used to be located over here on the left side beside all or under all the settings over here. You can notice in the background there's an image to image, but now it is moved to the image guidance tab, which is over here in the middle, as you can see here. Now, uh, let's please select this. And as you can see here, we could enable image input. Now, this will allow us to use image to image. So uh, what we're going to do is you're going to be providing a source image over here. I have this as a random image over here. So let me delete this for now. And we're simply going to upload the image that we have just selected earlier. So let me upload that one just like this. So you could either drag and drop it from your downloads or you can simply do the same thing that I did. Now, the aspect ratio does not match. So we're going to have to match it up. There we go. So now uh, this is our source image. So the type that we are trying to do is image to image. So this will do. So now the description of this is that it will detect the style and semantics of input image. And we'll use this to guide your image generation. So this will be our basis or the basis of our prompts. Or rather when we enter a prompt here, the output will be based on this source image. As you can notice, there's also strength over here. Now, the strength is very important because it will control the amount of uh, originality that it will maintain. So the higher the strength is, the more original it is, the more closer the output will be to the original photo that you have just uploaded. So let's simply try and generate over here, let's say, or we could add something or like a specific design. So let's say, a cat wearing a witch hat, something like that, or a Christmas hat, so that we are up to team. There we go. So let's fix our Christmas hat. There we go. So we click on generate, and it will generate us a cat wearing a Christmas hat. Now, the basis for the cat or the appearance of the cat will now be based on the image prompt that we have just uploaded. Now, that's a great thing about it. So you will be able to control the appearance or majority of the appearance by using an image prompt. And there we go. We have this as one of our uh, generated output over here. Now, the different, the other photos over here didn't have a Christmas hat. This one had some sort of Christmas decoration, but no hat regardless. This one also had a Christmas decoration. But this one, this cat over here had a hat. So our basis image over here is this one over here. So you could see the similarities between the two cats. So let's actually try and explore our strike over here. Let me lower it out. The lower it is, the more creative Leonardo will be, the more creative freedom we will be providing it. So it will have a lot of freedom to change a lot of elements, do things differently than the way you want it. And uh, having a low strike will allow Leonardo to do or add more things. So let's see the output over here. And there we go, as you can see. And the angle was uh, reserved, preserved, as you can see. The hat is now there. 
the style of the cat, the appearance of the cat has changed significantly. Well, not significantly, but uh, it sure looks different. But you could still see the similarities and the hat is certainly there. So you will be able to see the effects. So let's try something else now. A cat playing with Christmas balls. Something like that. Uh, let's generate it. Let's see the output this time. And uh, right now I generated a strike with 45. Let's try generating a strike in the middle like 70. Or let's go with 68. To generate that as well and over here let's try generating one with a maximum strength so this one we have uh, the low one the 0.45 percent and as you can see here Christmas balls is present uh, there is a lot more positions the cat is no longer in stock with one location but the appearance of the cat is still almost preserved because the cat here has like a tiger like pattern and over here the pattern is more prominent and there's more uh, differences between it this one had like a, a middle balance uh, due to the picture having no effects or having no balls or no hats or anything like that similar to our prompt it will remove it as you can see here but as you can see this one had Christmas balls and over here for the max version as you can see, it's almost very identical. It's almost exactly the same as you can see here. But this one was generated by Leonardo AI instead of a photo over here. So playing around with the strike is very important. And you're going to have to, to take your time with generating outputs like this. So uh, let's go and generate one last time a cat with a halo or angel halo. Angel Halo, just like that. Then click on Generate. And let's see the output that we will be able to get for our last generation for today. So uh, we are expecting something similar to this, but not exactly similar, of course, because we set the strike to lower or a low number. And there we go, as you can see. Uh, this one, It did not really show a uh, angelic halo or an angel halo, but I guess it's still... Uh, was an amazing or still a good output nonetheless so that's basically it guys that is all for today if you enjoyed this video consider leaving a like and subscribe and thanks for watching